LIC is the most profitable life insurance company in India and it is the largest and oldest too. We all know that it offers various insurance products like um, participating insurance product, non-participating insurance product, market linked, uh, term insurance, health insurance and annuity and pension plans. Today let us discuss the bonus process of much reward LIC. In this video, you will know how the profit is distributed to the participating insurance policy holders. Welcome to holisticinvestment.in. First, we must know what is a participating insurance policy. As a policy holder, when you can take part with the insurance company, it is called participating policy. But how it works? Over a financial year, the company earns profit. This profit is distributed to the policy holder. If you hold a participating life insurance product, you receive a portion of a profit as a benefit. How does the life insurance fund work? Uh, life insurance corporation manages a fund named life insurance fund. The premium collected from the policy holder is invested in this fund. Out of all policies, only a few policies will be filed for a claim. A yeah, specialist called actuary who that is who assess the risk is appointed. Uh, he estimates the further uh, future uh, death, death claim for the year based on the mortality rate. To meet the liability that is the death claim, the estimated amount is set aside from the fund. The excess surplus after setting aside the amount to meet the claim is declared as annual bonus. Earlier to IPO, uh, that is uh, LIC IPO in May 2022, the Life Insurance Corporation paid 95% of its surplus to its policy holder while the, while the remaining 5% to the government. But now the government tweaked the LIC Act with the Finance Act 2021 and the result is the ratio of policy holder and uh, shareholder is changed to 90% is to 10% respectively. Many investors uh, flock to participating insurance policies just for bonuses. The bonus either accrues or is, uh, it is paid annually. But these people forget a caveat. They are not guaranteed and it varies year after year. The non-guaranteed portion of your bene benefit payout depends on the bonus declaration each year. Now let's see the various types of bonuses. Simple revisionary bonus SRB. It is declared for per thousand sum assured. For example, rupees twenty five per thousand sum assured. So that means if you have a sum assured of rupees ten lakh, then the SRB is twenty five thousand. This bonus is simply accumulated each year and finally paid at maturity or along with debt benefit. A point to be noted is in most cases it is simply added to the basic sum assured and paid finally without compounding. One more important point to be noted here is that LIC has the right to skip the simple revisionary bonus in any year if there is uh, no or limited surplus or profit. LIC has the right to skip announcing profit for any policy for any particular year. That's why uh, this is called as a non-guaranteed benefit or non-guaranteed bonus. Uh, the second one is guaranteed addition GA as the name implies it is guaranteed that is a fixed amount which is added each year based on the type of policy. The profit declaration has nothing to do with GA. A fixed bonus is paid irrespective of the profit declaration. And the third one is loyalty addition or final additional bonus FAB. This is paid at maturity or on death. This one time bonus is paid only if you pay the premium regularly without any default. This is paid for staying with the policy for the specified term. It is paid with the surplus amount after paying the simple revisionary bonus. The fourth type, uh, there are also other bonus apart from these three. Uh, some policy has a terminal bonus or interim bonus. Uh, mostly all these bonuses are similar or sometimes with slight changes in terms and conditions. Uh, it is paid at, uh, at maturity or on uh, death. Now let us discuss one important heading. All you need to know about LIC's bonus. As an investor, there are few points you should know before picking any traditional participating life insurance policy. The sales pitch of these participating policies is that LIC has declared a bonus of 50,000 and odd crore for the previous year. But do not get illusioned by the hefty numbers. Bear in mind the following caveats. 
The interest for any investment is calculated by multiplying the interest rate with uh, the principal amount that is investment amount. Mm, but uh, here uh, in LIC bonus it is calculated based on your sum assured and not on the premium paid. In some cases the bonus rate is high for higher policy terms and high sum assured. Uh, one important warning is LIC bonuses will not compound under bank FT or any other investment the interest earned in the first year is compounded till maturity but this is not the case with LIC bonuses most of the bonuses are not paid to you in hand immediately they are accrued and paid at maturity or on death it is declared each year and just added to the basic sum assured without compounding Though LIC declares a bonus each year, if you default on premium payment or surrender it before the policy term, then you are not eligible for previous year bonus. You can receive the bonus only if you pay all the due premiums without any default and stay with the policy for the full policy term. Bonus is notional till you get it along the maturity benefit or death benefit. Since the primary objective of an insurance policy is providing life cover, the mortality charges are first deducted from the premium and then it is invested. The profit from the company will not, uh, will not be on par with other investment return. We would like to conclude that traditional participating life insurance policies offer both insurance coverage and the potential to earn a bonus. These policies are also known as uh, with profit policies. The bonuses are not guaranteed and can vary based on the company's financial performance and other factors. As a policy holder, please be cautious while reviewing the policy's uh, terms and conditions, including the illustrations provided by the insurer. Get a thorough understanding of the potential benefits, risk and cost associated with the policy. When you calculate the return for these policies, it will be less than any debt instrument return. The reason for this is that insurance and investment is mixed up in these traditional policies. As an alternate, pure term insurance policy holds the best for your insurance portfolio. You can read a detailed blog post on this topic in our website and the link is given in the description box. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions related to this or any other investment option or related to your financial goal, don't hesitate to book a free appointment with our financial planners. The link to the free booking is given in the description box below. Also, will you be interested to attend any insightful investment webinar? Then feel free to register for the upcoming enlightening investment webinar. It is completely free. The registration link for the upcoming webinar is also given in the description box. If you like this video, please give us thumbs up. Also, share it with your social circle. If you haven't subscribed our YouTube channel so far, please subscribe now.